In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents out of bookmarks in Kofax Power PDF. All you need to do to create a table of contents in Power PDF is to have your bookmarks created first, which I have done in my case notebook. I've got the plaintiff's complaint all the way down to plaintiff's production of documents. I've created my levels and all my headings, and now I want to create my table of contents. To do that, click the Bookmarks Panel Control Options drop-down, and at the bottom, click Create Table of Contents. In the corresponding dialog box, you can choose what levels you want to appear, which corresponds to the levels here of 1, 2, and 3. You can click this drop-down and choose which items you want to see, and I'm going to go ahead and choose all three. And you can see a preview on the right. You can leave everything the default if you want, or you can change them. But the way it looks right now is exactly how it would look in Word and other applications. On the content page, you can determine what the title is going to be and the appearance if you want to change the font size or color. Then you can choose the size. Now you can leave it as it is and it'll take on the page before it or below it as reference, like this one is in portrait, or you can click this drop down and you can choose another option like letter, legal, tabloid, tabloid or any of the other options. I'm going to leave it as the page below is reference. Then it wants to know if you want to add it before the first page. You can also click this drop down and add it after, and you can put it anywhere else in the document um, if you want to. Um, to create the table of contents, you click OK. And I'm going to click Control Home on my keyboard. And there's that table of contents, including clickable links. The page numbers are right aligned. There's my dotted line. There's my one, two, and three levels, just like I wanted. Now if I've updated my bookmarks, maybe I've removed one or added a new one, you can update the table of contents by clicking that drop down once again and clicking update table of contents. You will have to click yes to confirm. If you've changed your levels and you've moved the production up or one of the other ones, um, you can't update the table of contents that way, but what you can do is click that drop down, remove the table of contents and then create a new one all over again. It's really simple to create a table of contents in Kofax Power PDF. If you're using Adobe, you need a plugin to do this. Um, it does not come standard. You can also create a manual table of contents in Word, import it as a new page to your PDF, and you can create the links manually if you so choose to do that. Uh, but that's all there is to create a table of contents in Power PDF. Thanks for watching.